Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. This is gonna be a guide on how to do the crude oil production, uh, which is a new production chain that came to Farming Simulator 22 as a mod. So um, there's a lot of stuff, it appears to be a lot of stuff in this, but it's actually pretty straightforward. So I'm gonna go over how to use every building in this pack, what every building does, the cost of every building, how they all work, everything like that. Um, if you don't know how production chains work, that will be helpful knowledge to kind of get you started. So I'd recommend watching any of my basic production um, chain videos or any of my basic production videos from the base game before you watch this video. But in general, it's, you should be able to pick it up pretty quick here. So um, in this pack, there are uh, quite a few new buildings and there are five new products. So we're going to go over how to make all those and go how to use all the different buildings and what buildings you may want to use and everything like that. Uh, so we're going to go over all of that. So. Um, this is, uh, I'm gonna put a photo up on your screen right now. So the photo you're seeing right now is the crude oil production chain. This is kind of a, a flow chart provided by the uh, modder who created this. Um, so it, you can see that on the left-hand side, we have oil extraction, we have two oil extraction points, and we have a generator below that, which we'll talk about that. The two oil extraction points make crude oil, which can then go to one of the three sizes of refineries, which then can produce the new products, which we have uh, paraffin, motor oil, kerosene, and bearing grease. You also can produce uh, fuel as well. Um, and then obviously the other new, fifth new product is the crude oil itself, which you can sell directly if you want to. So the crude oil can then go into an oil tank to get sold. Um, or you can, uh, oh, look at my list here, or you can put the fuel into the oil tank there as well. Um, or you can sell the stuff off using one of the three new uh, selling points we have on the right hand side. So I'm going to go over all that. So I'm going to hit that off our screen. So first couple of buildings, let's go into build mode here. So obviously, I have a lot of stuff set up, we're going to go over just everything on here. So uh, first off, Couple buildings to start off talking about. Uh, there's this guy actually right away to start off. This is the oil pump. So if we go under production, we go under generators. That's this guy right here. It's eighty thousand dollars to buy. It simply is kind of a decorative money maker. So if you wanted to role play while people are extracting oil from your property in the game and they're paying you for it, this would be a great way to kind of role play that. You could set some of these up. And they pay you forty eight hundred dollars a month. So a decent payout for this. Um, eighty thousand dollars to buy. So that's kind of the first thing we have over here. Then over here we have one of our two production facilities that gets oil out of the ground. So we have this one and we have this guy right here. So these are two production facilities that get oil out of the ground. So we have the oil well pump and we have the big oil pump. So these guys are found under factories. If we go over here, we have the crude oil production, uh, which is just the oil well pump. And that guy is uh, eighty or hundred thousand dollars to buy. Then we have the big oil pump, which is um, two hundred thousand dollars to buy. Now. I'm a big advocator for this guy, the big one, and I'll explain all that in a second as we get going here. So um, talking about first this guy here, we're gonna talk about the small one because they do work differently. The small one, if we go up here, open our production menu, you can see crude oil. We need to put empty oil barrels in and then it'll produce crude oil. Um, you can see it'll do 12 cycles of this per month. So the production per month, 12 times 30, about 3,600 liters of crude oil a month as long as you're providing the appropriate barrels. Now you don't need 150 barrels uh, there's 150 it actually represents one barrel and i'll show you that in a second and then we have the production cost per month which is 1680. so over here i have some empty barrels which you can lift on all platforms this is for all platforms this mod and these guys are only 10 kilograms so without super strength you can lift these guys up and they should be able to just go right into the facility okay so i figured it out it's a little tricky it's a little bit more than just going right here you have to go a little deeper in so you have to get basically to this building and then it will, there we go, right over here, kind of the trigger, maybe in the back, it didn't even do it really on the back very well, I bet you could get it from the back, but you gotta get it in there a little bit. But now if we go up to the window, I put three barrels in, so each barrel is worth 150 liters, so you can see each barrel does a cycle. So each barrel is 150 liters, and now we're good to go. So we can go ahead and activate that, and we'll let that start producing what it's gonna do. And it'll produce crude oil for us, which the crude oil should spawn out. I'm assuming it's gonna spawn just right out front here. There's no hazard checked areas like we normally have for production chains. Uh, but if we go in there, again, if you don't know how production chains work, we have an input, we have an output. This is currently set to storing. We can change that to selling and distributing, but we're gonna leave it on storing because we want it to actually go forward. So selling would automatically sell the crude oil for about a 40% deficit. So you're gonna take a 40% cut kind of as a fee to sell it uh, directly. And then distributing would move it without a uh, penalty to the next production chain that requires it. So that's a good way to go about it. So that's how this facility works. We'll come back and take a look at our oil pallets here in a second. The second guy over here, this guy right here. So if we go into this one, this one's kind of interesting. It says it needs zero air to make 300 oil. So the air is just gonna, it doesn't need it. Um, it's just gonna be the input, which is gonna produce oil. So basically this is just producing oil, doesn't require barrels. The nice thing about this is yes, um, it, it doesn't require an input. So basically you're just pumping oil out of the ground. So you're paying for it. Now you can see I tend to do this 120 times. So instead of 3,600 liters, this is gonna produce 36,000 liters a month. So a lot more. And the crazy thing is this guy costs 1680 per month. 
This guy also costs 1680 per month. So it's not like this even costs that much more. That's why I'm a big advocate for this. You'll make your money on it. Um, it'll be worth it a lot more for you to use this facility instead. Um, and it'll just produce that from the air. So the, the downside here is you do need a tanker. So I have a tanker trailer here, which this mod, if you go into here, let me take a look in the store. This mod has some things. First off, those empty oil barrels that you need, you can produce or you can buy those in the store for $50 a piece, which again is an added cost, which we don't need if we have the big oil pump because uh, we can produce or we can buy this one time to transport our crude oil. This one here will do crude oil and fuel. These ones will do various products, but the important thing is they're modded to do crude oil. So um, I do have one of these out here to pick up the oil when it's produced. Um, and then it also did say in the description, we'll try it. It said you can use a empty barrel to pick it up. So we'll try that as well. But I'm gonna go in here and all we have to do for this one is hit activate to turn it on. And it's just gonna start producing oil or crude oil because, well, there doesn't have to worry about it at all. So there's no inputs that we have to put in for it. Um, the interesting thing about this is it does have what appears to be an endpoint or input point on the back here. Um, we're going to kind of test some of that out in terms of it did say again in the description that you could get it out using a tanker or you could use an empty uh, oil barrel to get the crude oil out. So we'll talk about that here in a second. Uh, I'm going to fast forward some time here in just a second so we can get these guys going. Um, before we do that, there's a couple of kind of added buildings that are kind of in here before we get to the refineries over here. So we have these two guys right here. Uh, so let me go into the menu here so we can talk about these two kind of uh, little oil tanks here. So there's three oil tanks in this uh, pack. One's over here, which serves as a sell point. We'll talk about that one later. And then there's these two over here. So uh, the first one of these, if we go under silos, is going to be this guy right here. It's the old slurry tank. So basically it serves as a slurry or digestate storage facility, which is kind of cool. So just kind of a decorative one there. And I have that set up to show you guys in a second. Then if we go under containers, we have this guy right here, which is this one over here, which serves as basically just a fuel tank. So this is the fuel tank here. So you can fill up your vehicles or get fuel out here. Uh, but um, if we go up here, uh, I don't believe you can put fuel into this, but you could, I believe, set to distribute and maybe see if you can get it to go in there if you're making it at the refinery. But we can buy fuel and put it in there if we'd like to and use it as a fuel point. Over here, we can get from right where we're at. The, you can't see the icons. They're in the truck there. But I can unload and I can also reload slurry or digestate into the facility right here, which is pretty sweet. So that's a kind of a cool feature there. But I'm going to get some crude oil production made here and then i'll bring you guys back in in a second all right so it's been 24 hours so this one here has completely stopped production if you go on the menu here it's completely done ran out of barrels no big deal and it did spawn one pallet which they are getting to spawn right here so we have this guy right here 500 liters of crude oil now i can't lift it with my hands i'm gonna to have to use a forklift if you're on consoles um or along those lines i'm not sure if this will work with the liftable pallets mod by yas um so i'm not sure if it'll work with that or not it might very well work fine um but for now um, just for the sake of the tutorial, I'm going to turn super strength on so I can move it around uh, to show various features later. But that's how we're going to get oil out of this. You can't pull it out bulk or anything like that. That's how you're getting oil out of this facility. That's why I think this one is far superior. Because if we go in here, we not only do we have a lot more oil, we didn't have to put any inputs in. This costs the same amount of money as this one. And yeah, we're just making a lot more oil. And it's probably honestly easier to transport it bulk anyway. So um, if we get in here, we should be able to pull right on over this. And we should be able to grab some crude oil out, which is what we're doing right now. You can see the truck loading up. Now, I'm going to stop it for a second because I am curious about using this barrel to do it. I'm going to see if we move this into here. Is anything going to happen? Nope. And again, that was something I was worried. Now, there could be some trick I don't know about that's going to be allow you to do this. I don't know why you honestly would want to pick it up with the barrel anyways. But uh, regardless of that, yeah, empty oil barrel is not accepted here. So... Again, if you guys know the secret on how to get um, oil from this facility into an oil barrel, let me know. But regardless of that, for the sake of our tutorial here, it's going to be fine to get it out this way. Um, I think this is probably the best way to do it anyway. So again, after you buy the facility, you're pretty much set to go in. This is just crude oil that you could just sell directly off if you wanted to. And you could just continue to make profit off of that, which is pretty cool. Um, so now um, we have some crude oil here. I'm going to go ahead and stop it right there. Um, and move forward here. I'm probably not even going to use this to necessarily unload a whole lot, but now we have three refinery, which I'm going to take a look at here with you guys. So if we go back under production chains. We go down to the very end. We have refinery one, $70,000. That's this guy right over here. They all produce the same products, by the way. So you can see they all produce the same products. We have small, medium, and large. The medium one, $150,000. Looks a little bit more refinery-esque, and it's going to be this guy right here. Then we have the large refinery, $500,000 right here is going to be good to go. It takes up a lot of space. 
I actually, for this, would not recommend the large refinery, and I'll explain that. I actually think you'd be better off placing two medium ones um, because it's going to be cheaper, and you're going to end up being able to produce um, a fair amount as well. So if we actually go into the production menu, we have small, medium, and large refinery. So in terms of the productions, it's pretty straightforward. 100 oil to 80 paraffin, um, 100 oil to 90 kerosene, 100 oil to 70 motor oil, 100 oil to 60 bearing grease, 100 oil to 120 diesel, which is fine. So if we go up here, 72 cycles, 480 a month. Then we go down to the medium refinery. Well, the, the recipe is the same, but instead of being 72, we have 168. So just over double that, uh, which is great. Um, and just a little bit more in cost, uh, which is not that bad. Now, if we go up to the large one up here, compared to the 168, we are not doubled. So we're not quite doubled from the 168. Um, also, the production cost has actually doubled itself. So this is actually a better deal to use just the medium production in terms of cost and what you're gonna get out of it. That's why I'd recommend that. You also could do a few of the small ones. The small ones aren't that expensive and they're pretty good in terms of the production. But as you can see, all the recipes stay the same um, no matter what the refinery is. It's just the cycles per month um, are a little bit more. And if you don't know how cycles per month work, let's just give an example here. So this recipe right here, 100 liters to 80 liters, this is gonna happen 72 times per month. Now, if you have your game set to one day months, that'll happen every day. If you have your game set to 10 day months, it'll happen every 10 days. And this is gonna be the cost that's gonna bill you every month. So either every 10 days if you have the 10 day months or every day if you have one day months. Now, if I bump it up over here to 168, that now, this process is gonna happen 168 times as opposed to 72 times. That's why the medium and large refineries are still better in terms of they're gonna produce more product for you. So getting stuff in and out of these guys, obviously we have the wrench right here to be able to access this one specifically, which is no big deal. But this refinery itself, we needed to put oil in it. We just need to go into this area right and look there. I already got the trigger there. So I can put a little oil in there if I want to, no big deal. And then we have on the side here, we have where the barrels are going to come out. Over here, or excuse me, where the products are gonna come out and spawn out. On here, as we go into the medium refinery on the right-hand side, just as we enter this side, we have the area where the pallets are going to spawn right here. And this is the wrench to access um, the medium refinery right there. Now, if we get back in here, this is where we can put crude oil in if we'd like to. So right here, we can get some crude oil in. And I know you see there's a truck there and a truck over there. I'll talk about those guys in a little bit um, because when you make fuel, those are where they're at the points we're going to get fuel out. You can see the fuel point. Um, if we actually just let's just talk about it since we're right here. If I go back over here, you can see where you're going to get diesel out if you're producing diesel fuel using the crude oil. And over here, this is where you're gonna get your diesel out if you're producing diesel fuel. Now, if we go into the next refinery, the large one here, um, a little bit set up a little bit differently. Over here, we have the pallet spawn point here on the right-hand side again. We also have our wrench to get into it. Um, and then in terms of everything else, this is where we're gonna put crude oil in, or input, or only input. And over here is where we're gonna get diesel fuel out if we decide to produce diesel. All the other products will come in the form of pallets. So, um, what we're going to do um, is we're going to go into here. I'm actually just going to use the large. Well, you know, we'll spawn something at every refinery. We'll activate this one to do paraffin. Uh, we'll activate this one to do kerosene and motor oil. And then we'll activate this one to do bearing grease and diesel. Uh, actually, I want them all to produce diesel just for the time being. So um, we'll do that. Now, what I am going to do, I have a mod installed that allows me to buy the production input. So I'm just going to buy um, some crude oil and some various products to put in all of these guys just to make sure they have what they need. That way we have some products getting made. There we go. And this one. Perfect. Get some good amount of oil in here. That'll be more than enough. So now we've got crude oil. Obviously, you can see the capacity for this is much higher than the medium refinery and obviously even higher than that of the small refinery. So um, those things are all going to start producing those various products, which is great. So what I'm going to do is fast forward some time and get that all done. Now, again, with every one of these products, they're all set to storing right now. I can, of course, set them to uh, selling. So if I wanted them to sell automatically, which I just sold some motor oil right there, or I can have it distribute to another place, which distributing is not going to do anything for these because they don't have anywhere to go. Um, but I'm just going to leave them on storing there for us. So I'm going to fast forward some time and I'll bring you guys back in here in just a bit. All right. So it has been 24 hours. We have some products made here. So you can see in the pallet spawn points. So for our small refinery, <clears throat> excuse me, we have some diesel fuel that's been made. You can see down there, bottom right-hand corner. And then we also have some uh, paraffin that's been made. So we have some paraffin made right there. And then if we go here, we can hop in this truck. If we wanted to pull the diesel out of this facility. Just pull on here. Oop, if I can actually get onto the trigger, that'd be nice. There we go. And now I'm pulling diesel out right there, which is great. So I can do that. Now, if we go into the medium refinery here, I have some motor oil, which again, I 
I can't lift any of these. That pallet's actually very heavy, 1.1 tons. This one as well. And here we have the kerosene pallet. So kerosene motor oil, those are what the pallets look like. And they look great. Honestly, the pallets look really good. Sometimes um, when monitors do productions, they just make boxes and add kind of uh, something onto the side of the boxes. But these are all very unique, which I think is pretty cool. The monitor took the time to do that. So I've got those guys over there, which I can only lift because I have super strength on. And then here, I wanted to get the fuel out. I'm getting the fuel out right now, which is perfect. And if we go into the large refinery, the thing we made over here was the bearing grease. So again, another unique pallet type, which is cool. So we have a lot of things of bearing grease over here. Again, they're a thousand liter pallets by 1.1 tons. And then if we wanted to get fuel out of this guy right here, we could. There we go. We're getting fuel out of the refinery right there. So pretty cool. A really good setup. I really like that. Now, the final part of this uh, mod. Now, one thing I'm going to go over to at the very end, I should note, is I'm going to talk about the profitability. So we're going to kind of take a look at all that as well at the very end. Um, I'm also going to try to test and see if... Um, so one thing with production chains you guys have asked me to do in the past is, well, if I have all of these guys active, is it actually going to produce this as a cycle or is it only going to produce, you know, it's like, for example, is it going to, excuse me, is it going to divide the production by everything or is it actually going to produce uh, what it's going to say it's going to produce for everyone? So basically, is the factory going to be divided if I have it producing everything versus just one or two things? So we'll take a look at that and see if it does that. Uh, but yes, we have sell points over here. So let's take a look at those. We go into the production menu. Oh, we're also going to take a look at, of course, the profitability, as I said, of all those. So we'll take a look at all that stuff here at the very end. Uh, but if we go into production, then we go to sell points. At the very end, we have some different sell points here. So according to the modder here, um, when you're selling stuff to these various sell points, um, there's four here listed. So again, we have this guy over here, $10,000. We have the small stall here, which is $4,000. Then we have this store here, which is $40,000. And the big one, which is $55,000. And you can see sometimes they take other products as well as the new products that we have here. Um, but according to the description, the smaller one's not going to be able to take as much before it's not going to, or it's going to stop taking um, some of those products. So the bigger sell points will be able to take a little bit more um, and stuff like that. And then obviously we can go in here and we can see we can sell the crude oil, uh, the paraffin, the kerosene, the motor oil, or the bearing grease, which all of those based on what I'm seeing just initially here, you're going to make more if you sell those off instead of the crude oil, which makes sense. Now, if we go up to fuel in here, which fuel should theoretically be in here somewhere, could be there it is, diesel right there. Um, you can see some different um, facilities you can sell it, which is all the places that we put down. So you can sell those things there if you made fuel instead, um, which is great. And again, just by looking at those prices, you're going to make more selling the fuel than you would uh, selling the crude oil. So a lot of options there. But yeah, let's go ahead and jump into the profitability. So um, I'm going to do a quick test to see if I can't figure out um, if these guys are going to be divided production or not. And then also do some math to see if it's actually worth doing, which I have a good feeling it's going to be worth it. So I'll see you guys here in a minute. All right. So I've done some testing and done some research. The first thing which is concerning and you need to be well aware of is if we go in here, we'll talk about it in here. These are not a divided or they are a divided production. So what I mean by that is if I have this small refinery, for example, and I want to make everything, if I activate all of these. So, for example, if I have five of these running, their production cycles per month is going to be divided by five. So be aware of that. Now, if I have two running, each of these, let's say I have paraffin and kerosene running, each of their cycles per month will be divided by, by two since I have two of them running. Now, that's not a big deal if you're trying to make multiple products. It's fine. Here is the problem that I noticed that you're going to want to be careful of. So even let's say you have all five of these running. Let's say we have all five of these running. So if I go down here, I just activate. I'm running all five of these at the same time. So obviously, the production for each one in terms of cycles per month is going to be divided by five which is fine. But the main issue is the production cost per month stays the same. So even though all of these are divided by five, we're still getting billed for this one 480, even though we're only doing a fifth of the production. This one's still getting billed 240, even though we're only doing a fifth of the production and so on and so forth. So you're paying a lot more production costs. So just based on that, I would recommend only having one active at a time in each factory just to kind of save you the money. Now, the main thing you guys are probably wondering about is let's talk about some profitability. So first thing up on your screen now is the prices I use to help calculate this. So the empty barrel price is obviously that's the cost per thousand liters, technically speaking, if you buy the empty barrels from the store, because that's where you're going to get them from. Then the rest of those are the best price, at least on this map, which should be pretty standard. Some maps may have different economy stuff going on, but this is the best price in normal economy. And again, all of this is in normal economy. So um, that's what you guys need to know in terms of that. So um, that is the prices that I used. Now, the next chart, which is now up on your screen, is the crude oil production. We're going to look at all the different things here. So Basically, we have on the top uh, part, it says economic difficulty, normal, and obviously, and then I also included, which I don't normally do, but this one I thought it mattered more to do, and I'm going to try to do it in the future with all of my productions, if I can, in these videos, 
I included the production costs. I don't normally include the production costs, but these ones are taking into account the production costs, so how much that production cost is billing you. Having said that, I'm also I'm also just going to assume, based on especially what we just talked about, all of these all of these numbers you're going to see are if you're running each production with only one at a time. So you're not doing it like all five of them or three of them at a time in each facility. So each facility is technically running one, and these are the calculations for that, if that makes sense. So at the top part there, we have the crude oil. If you have the small one that requires barrels, then we have the large one, which doesn't require barrels. Obviously, the input for the large one that doesn't require barrels is not very much, and the input for the other one is still not much compared to the output, but um, again, it's a, it's a lot better if you have the larger one. So based on that, I would recommend actually just doing the large one because it's only a $14 per cycle input and you're making $508 per cycle, which is great. And I'll talk about how much all of these guys will make per month. Um, this right now is just a kind of a list of per cycle, how much you're going to make or lose on some of these productions if you're doing them. So, um, and again, this is using the first version of this model. This is version 1.0.0.0. So if it does get updated in the future, I may do an update video, but I may not. So just be aware of that, that some things could change. Um, yeah, if, if things change in the future, just be aware of that. So, um, okay, crude oil, small, large, you see that, that's the profits there. If we go to the small refinery, obviously the small refinery, medium refinery, and large refinery have a little bit different amounts. So you actually do pretty good, I think. It kind of depends on what, uh, what thing you're trying to make in terms of if you're gonna make more per cycle on different uh, refineries, because the, the uh, equations basically for their production cost and um, how many cycles they do per month isn't quite even across the board. Um, so there's a little bit of differences there, but in general, they're pretty close to, uh, or pretty similar. So um, there might be a couple bucks off, but nothing big there. So you can obviously see the inputs and outputs down there. The main thing to, to look at here is that for bearing grease, you're gonna lose money. So don't make bearing grease, at least as the mod sits right now, unless you need it for like role play or something like that but I wouldn't recommend making bearing grease. So there you go, that is all the cycles per month in terms of how much you're gonna make per cycle per month. Now that I wanna show you one more chart. All right, this final chart up on your screen is all that, basically that same chart, except it's gonna show you how much of each product we're producing every month, and it's gonna show you how much profit we're making every month. So honestly, what I'd recommend with this mod is maybe role play it as you're using the large. It's actually best if you don't produce the stuff further along, because if you take the crude oil large um, and you just make crude oil, you're actually gonna make most per month if you just sell the crude oil off instead of producing it to other things. So again, those products, let's say if we go down to like the next biggest one is probably uh, paraffin wax, uh, which does really good. Um, at the very bottom, large refinery, you're making $44,000 a month, which is great. It's not quite the 59, almost 60,000 that you're getting with the crude oil large, but that 44,000 is taking into account the fact that you're not able to sell that crude oil and you're putting it into the factory. So now you're basically losing 15 grand if you take the crude oil from um, that facility and then sell it there. Um, however, it might be worth it if you're using the small oil pumps, like I says up there again, you're not going to make very much because you're not making very much product. You're only making 3,800 bucks a month on each one and you have to put the barrels in and everything like that. So it's probably a bit of a hassle for that. Uh, so you might be worth it there, but yeah, that is how much profit you're going to make per month on each production or how much you're going to lose if you're doing bearing grease every month. So again, the best one is definitely just to do the large, uh, crude oil facility and sell it off that way. So I think in terms of like what I'd recommend, again, I don't know if the modder is gonna watch this or not, but um, probably the prices for motor oil need to be bumped up a bit. Um, the price for bearing grease obviously need to be bumped up quite a bit. And then I think that the crude oil needs to be bumped down. I think it's worth too much money if you sell it just as itself. So that way it's actually makes it more worthwhile for you to put it into a facility and produce it to things because that just kind of makes more sense. So uh, there you guys go. That is what I have for you guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel and turn on your notification bell so you don't, make, or you don't miss any future videos that I may post. If you're watching on Facebook, also please drop a follow there. Or if you're watching on YouTube, please go drop a follow on my Facebook page trying to build up um, the audience there as well. But thank you guys for coming to watch. And again, this has been Farmer Cop. I'll see you guys on the next video.